channel three early warning weather all right good morning everybody 617 on this saturday this new year's eve i hope everybody's having a great start out there maybe enjoyed some of those very mild temperatures that we had yesterday we got into the 60s in the hartford and we broke our record high temperature so some crazy warmth out there our normal high temperature by the way this time of year is 37 degrees and today we're also expecting to be in the 50s in fact we're already at 49 degrees in hartford so it's feeling balmy out there right temperatures all across the northeast 46 in albany 49 in boston 42 in new york city and yes as mentioned 49 degrees in hartford we are seeing some drizzle passing through the state but where our main focus is right now is to the west of us this storm system is going to be impacting us as we head later towards tonight you know they say rain is good luck we're expecting some rain to ring in 2023 so today's going to be mostly cloudy mild we're seeing some fog out there this morning we're going to stay mostly with cloud cover and drizzle until later this afternoon into this evening. That's when the rain will really pick up. So if you do have outdoor plans, I know a lot of people going out for dinner, maybe going out to celebrate. You need to make sure you pack that rain jacket and the umbrella with you as well. Make it sparkly though. Uh, some sun for the first day of 2023. So for tomorrow, we are looking at some partial sunshine throughout the day. And then that warmth is going to continue for much of next week. So milder than average temperatures are going to stick around. In fact, we actually have a chance of seeing temperatures in the 60s on Wednesday once again. All right, total, we're expecting maybe about a half an inch of rain, maybe less than that for parts of our state. It looks like the southeast corner actually is expected to get the most amount of rainfall. So yes, you can see a lot of cloud cover throughout today. Once again, skies will be overcast. It will be kind of a gray, gloomy feel with some occasional drizzle and then later in the evening that's when we see some of these rain showers really pass through five six seven o'clock and then by nine o'clock you can see some of that heavier rainfall where you see those darker greens passing through some of that yellow through the overnight hours of course that's when we are ringing in the new year uh, so first night uh, in Hartford, uh, definitely want to once again pack that rain gear if you're heading out. Not the best timing, but once again, we wake up tomorrow morning, maybe some people going out for brunch or celebrating New Year's Day, and it looks like we're going to see some partial sunshine. Temperatures are going to once again be in the 50s, actually in the mid 50s in a lot of spots. Moving into Monday, temperatures cool down a little bit into the low 50s. Once again, we're not complaining. That's still way above average for this time of year. If you do like the above average warmth, Old Saybrook looking at some fog out there 620 this morning and there's that drizzle I've been mentioning in Torrington, in Enfield, a couple sprinkles, in Haddam, and just that visibility way down in that southeast corner. You can see we're only at a half a mile, two miles in Chester, two miles in New Haven. So temperatures out there, though, are mild. It's kind of a balmy feel. 49 degrees in Hartford, 50 in Chester. Good morning to you. 34 degrees in Willimantic. Winds are anywhere from calm to five miles per hour. And our forecast for today, 49 to 53 degrees. Once again, that rain's really going to pick up as we head later towards today. All right, our seven day forecast, 55 degrees for tomorrow. Yep, we stick around, look at that, in the 50s to start off the new year for Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday. We're tracking another system. The timing is still a little bit uncertain. The models are differing on exact timing. We could be actually seeing some rain into Thursday morning as well. So we'll keep you posted on that system. But after that passes through, it looks like temperatures drop a little bit closer to normal by Friday, where we're at 39 degrees, but still dry weather for Thursday, Friday. We'll be keeping you posted on that. 